he's pitching well. His last two outings have been excellent. And uh, uh, Z and Gars and Casey, we've, we've started to put together some quality starts. And that, we need to start there first. And we get that, and then with the bullpen that we've got, we'll be fine. But we, you know, we didn't swing the bats today. Cueto was tough. Um, neither club had many opportunities. They took advantage of really the one that they had, and, and we failed to in ours. So when you're playing these two one one nothing games, uh, every opportunity uh, you try, you need to try and cash in on. Mike, let's stick with Demp for a second. What has he done in his last two starts that he wasn't doing the first five weeks of the season? Well, and a veteran guy, so he should probably be here answering that. But just watching him physically, um, his slider means so much to him, and it just wasn't the slider that I've seen the last two or three years in his, you know, early in his starts and. And uh, a younger kid I would have been much more concerned about, but you figure a guy like them is going to figure it out, and, and he has. Starlin Castro, you gave him the day off mm -hmm. yesterday, um, but today fails with the bases loaded a couple of times. I know that we had the force out at home plate. He's now seven for his last 51 at-bats. What can you do next? Well, he's got, he's got to figure out what he can do next, and nobody spends more time working than he does and Rudy, and you talk to the kid, and, and somebody asked me a question after the game about that, and. You know, can, what can you do helping him from the bench? Hitting's difficult, okay? The one thing that Star to me has to do right now is, is get pitches to hit. And he's just an over-anxious young kid. And everything came so easy for him the first month. He was getting pitches to hit. Well, the pitchers in this league have made some adjustments and they're gonna make it tougher on him and they're gonna challenge him to make them come in the strike zone. How did he handle being on the cover of Sports Illustrated? I never heard him say a word. Never heard him so say I'm, a word? So I'm great with that. I mean, I, I thought it was fantastic. And You don't uh, think that put any extra pressure on him over the last couple of weeks? I, none that I'd noticed. Okay. And, and, you know, it's funny because people want to talk about the SI jinx and all the rest of it, which I'll have nothing to do with. But um, his, his, his struggles were taking place before that came about. The Sports Illustrated thing was a great reward for him. He's done a great job, and he's going to be a real nice player. Carlos Pena had a nice week. Three yeah. home runs this week. And I think it was great that you stuck with the guy. I've had a chance to spend some time with him, and I think he is just one of the true gentlemen in this game. Right. How good did it make you feel to see him finally start to hit at the plate? Well, you know, we, I feel great when everybody gets sure. it going, and, and we need more offense than we've been getting, and we'll, and we'll get it. But um, knowing how tough it is here in April, and knowing what a great kid he is and what kind of game he has and how important home runs are to his game for him to be productive. It was a heck of a tough deal. But you know what, he never wavered. He showed up every day, did his work. Uh, when I sat him for a day or two, he understood. I mean, handled himself remarkably well. Who would have thought that your Cubs would be the best baseball team in the city right now? Uh, I don't know about that. I got we got, I got to worry about the north side and, and, uh, uh, and I know the Sox are struggling. but. Um, but we've got plenty of improvement to make too if we're going to if we're going to contend in this division so we better take care of our own problems